Jerry Lynn and Zeke Morrison. Jerry Lynn is from Northridge area, from the Northridge area, and Zeke Morrison's from San Diego. And uh, both very good players. Uh, Jerry Lynn is a dentist who has uh, a very high rating in the NWB or the old USPPA organization of uh, 115. So this should be a pretty good match, although I'm sure both players are pretty exhausted. A race to six starting right now between Jerry Lynn and Zeke Morrison. this down to uh, no more than 48 players today, 48-44, and I'm sure the bracket is going to be updated online. At the top of the chat room, if you click on that link, you'll see the uh, bracket results. Escape from the corner pocket, though, so it's quite possible that uh, Zeke is going to have his hands full with this shot.
<sighs> well. So he's got a small window between the five and the uh, and the nine there. And it looks like <clears throat> he might have to cheat this, uh, sp spin this somehow. Uh, three rails I like around. Maybe with some draw. I don't think he used any draw there. Jerry's going to take ball in hand. And I happen to know Jerry for about four or five years. Very strong player. And has an excellent safety game. And I think this is what you're going to see today from him. You guys have enjoyed this uh, Swanee event this evening. So far, we are going to be streaming tomorrow. I'll probably have the cameras up at 9 in the morning. <clears throat> nice and early. And I am not exactly sure when the first match of the day is going to be. Uh, but uh, if you would like to subscribe to my Facebook or uh, to the AZ Billiard Forums, I'll uh, be sure and leave an update there before I go to bed. Uh, I do have a Facebook group. It's POV Pool on Facebook. Just P-O-V, like point of view, pool on Facebook. I also have a fan page. It's Point of View Pool on Facebook. Look up Point of View Pool. chat room up for those of you wondering uh, I haven't been looking at chat for the past 10 minutes Thank everybody uh, as well that have been so helpful in the in the chat room and the forums and doing some of the posting for me and also too slow for me for managing the uh, online bracket for this event. That's just amazing. And I especially want to thank DOPC and Sharkin who have been our trusted moderators for the chat room and who've been guiding you guys uh, answering any questions you guys may have or queries and just generally keeping things clean here
And this is the, you know what? Jerry kind of plays you like a dentist. <laughs> the slow grinding. <laughs> So that's what he does for a living. He is a dentist. Jerry Lynn, one zero. Actually, it's a lot like uh, playing a dentist because the dentist will keep you in a chair. I've played Zeke and Jerry before, and um, I, I do have to say that I favor Jerry in this game. I've played Jerry enough times to know what Zeke is feeling right now mentally, because Jerry is a very deliberate player, very well thought out tactical strategy even though we're just at the end of the day we're just talking about putting some balls and holes on a table just 
Just having a little fun. What a nice looking spread. Three goes down. It looks like he's switching poles, po uh, switching Switching poles to shoot, in other words, from uh, right to left. Oh no, maybe I'm mistaken. It kind of looked like he was. Jerry Lynn, boy, I do not miss those days when I had to play Jerry Lynn. That's how Jerry pulls this. He, he, he will look at every angle, check it all out. I mean, he's you know into the fine detail of the, where the balls are going to roll and exactly what side of the ball he wants to be on. I mean, this is a uh, Uh, this is not the table that I'll be... Oh, hi, hi, Bob Bolio. <laughs> this is not the table we'll be playing on. We will be switching from table one on Monday to table six. And uh, we'll be covering the action on table six. Uh, it's a... Uh, better to table to cover the action on for an action match because we get uh, <clears throat> a lot more audience uh, ambiance and you know we'll, we'll be getting some nice shots of the players from this ang from that angle of the room we'll have sort of the room the room will be <coughs> cordoned off a little bit so we'll have uh, plenty of time to or plenty of space to put cameras where we want and we'll have a cameraman actually as well uh, providing us with some close-ups and, and tracking of players around the tables and stuff it's gonna be really nice during this time I will also be playing my match we'll have Ian Brock uh, calling all the shots behind the camera or not behind the camera but at least at the switching module and doing all the fades and the cuts and it's gonna be nice.
You can order the pay-per-view at uh, povpool.com. I've been very careful as to uh, plaster my website with enough areas to pay for the pay-per-view. And like I said, I recommend if you are going to purchase the pay-per-view, buy it now so that you can become familiar with the interface and how to sign up and get your login name and all that. Uh, that way, when the match starts, you can just get right into it without any hassle. do know about Zeke and he doesn't like to sit there and when he likes when he comes to the table um, he's a guy he's a rhythm player and so he likes to get into a groove Jerry does not like you getting into a groove Say, ladies and gentlemen, looks like all have the the mods have suddenly showed up to the chat room today. <laughs> I want to thank you guys, uh, Snooker, Ian Brock, uh, my sponsor with Run Out Apps, and the Scorekeeper, DOPC, and Sharkin. Thank you so much. Zero. Lynn versus Morrison. D O P C. I think I got you beat on sleep. But who's counting? Jerry does have the breakdown right now. Which fan? Oh, those fans? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, stand by, guys. Zeke uh, Morrison just asked me if I could get the room fans turned back on again. Stand by.
problem solved. I also want to thank uh, Chris Santana, Fast and Loose Designs, for uh, his help uh, with some of the design aspects of POV Pools Media, and also for making the great posters uh, that he designed for the POV Action Series. Chris Santana, fast and loose. He needs to get a website quickly. Zero. Someone's saying it looks like the, uh, the like Jerry Lynn's playing by himself, like he's playing the ghost or something. Well, not quite like that, but uh, uh, but uh, Zeke definitely has. Uh, not been putting a lot a huge fight up he's trying he's trying but I I, I know what he's going through right now <laughs> it's like it's so hard playing Jerry because Jerry does most of the playing he is a dentist and he barely even plays pool anymore uh, he tells me that he only gets out like uh, once or twice a week if that. What's up after this? <laughs> Take a guess. Uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna hit some balls for a few minutes. I have to. I have to, I have to get the blood flowing. All right, come on, Zeke. Let's see you put up a fight. Make it happen, buddy. Yeah, where's my guy from... Uh, I forgot who that was. He, he was cool, man. Uh, Philly From? Was that what was his name? Philly From? From Philly? The guy uh, challenged me uh, to play the ghost for $500. I'm almost ashamed to say what, how many games he gave me on the wire. Night, Sharkin. Good night, man. 
Good night, my friend. Oh, Shark and Stan? DOPC's leaving. No, Snooker's leaving. Snooker! Philly Viper. Yeah, yeah. That's right, Philly Viper 1. Vinny. Good kick. Uh, where does he kick to? <sighs> you leaving, Steve? You leave. Take care, buddy. Good to see you. Thank you. Coming by tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe he'll come by tomorrow. <laughs> I can't believe I'm up right now. I can't believe I'm alive right now. <laughs> Oh, man. That is bad. That's so painful, man. Oh, no. Such a good shot, though. Such a good shot. And, uh, he, uh, yeah, J Jerry really could just bump into the five, but he's going to be careful. He's going to have to do it in such a way that he doesn't uh, cover himself with that seven ball that's up table. Anything can happen. He doesn't want to leave himself in some weird angle where he might have to play a, or might be looking at a, a scratch, trying to avoid the scratch, shooting up to the corner or something. So he's going to, yeah, that was perfect. Leaves himself dead straight. Oh man, I'm commentating. Uh oh, I'm I'm comment I'm commenting on the delay. <laughs> oh man, bye guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm hitting a wall. It's about the fourth wall I've hit, actually. And Zeke takes a game, gets on the wire.
four games to one. I'll tell you what, I, I, I would love to see Zeke just run a three pack right now. Just love to see it. I would love it. He would just surprise the heck out of it. And it'd be the best pool in here. <laughs> it would be the best pool in here all night. And there's like actually only about 11 people here now. Room quickly went from uh, about 280 to 11 people. Zeke is taking advantage of this feeling right now. He's uh, taking his time. You know, to make it this far in the Swanee is actually a pretty a pretty good deal. Zeke obviously is no slouch. I mean, I can vouch for him too. I've played him and he's tough. I've streamed him probably a half dozen times. I think I've been streaming now for 15 hours. Somebody call Guinness. Jacking up. Zeke plays a good safety. And that's what he's going to have to do if he uh, has got sort of an unguaranteed layout. He's going to have to come with it. He's going to have to come with the shots. And uh, he's going to have to grind back at Jerry. Jerry's going, okay, I have to this cue ball at exactly two and an eighth inches above the, <laughs> the, above the side pocket. Perfect kick. Second safety battle of the match. <laughs> you 
Jerry somehow manages to get that one ball almost frozen to the rail. Zeke's taking a look at it. There is absolutely no reward in cutting this up the rail to the corner pocket. Jerry Lynn, ball in hand. Nitrous oxide. Suction. Bite hard. <laughs> oh my God, my man Bane is still here. Bane Mendoza, by the way, is uh, lending us the most beautiful set of balls for this uh, match on Monday and Tuesday. just playing uh, and I welcome all of your comments on YouTube as long as they're not derogatory and inflammatory which they never are coming from you that's Mr. Shark Uh, Zeke's listening to. I always, whenever people wear iPods, I always try to imagine what music they're listening to. I picture him sort of listening to like Helmet. I like Helmet. He's probably listening to Helmet. <laughs> Kamui Brown would not have done that, Jerry Lynn. Are you kidding me? Jerry Lynn still uses a LaPro. Look, he's... He's... Performing dental surgery on his Q-tip right now. <laughs> I find out it's always 
com- something completely opposite of what I'm thinking. Like he'll he'll tell me it's like house music or something, <laughs> progressive trance, <laughs> right? EDM, exactly. The Thompson Twins. <laughs> Hold me now. <laughs> Or he'll tell me some story and say like, oh, did you, oh, Howard Jones was my father. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think Dave Hemmings is going to visit me in a second. No, it's not me. Dave, how are you, man? Yep, right there. You can pull that off. I love this getting a visit from Dave Hemma, man. Dude, dude, we have had a long day. <laughs> You're telling me. You are a warrior. Oh, man, you know. Let me ask you, how many people actually are with us still at this time? Uh, we have 133 people watching. Oh, my God. <laughs> You guys are dedicated people. This no, 113, to- I'm sorry. Oh, that's totally awesome. With the exception of the fact that you have to always extrapolate that at least at this time of night, at least 52% are asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, so they fell asleep at the wheel. Yeah, actually, it's about it's about 60 or 82, but I'm just trying to be... <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm trying to be, you know... That's hilarious. ...positive here. <laughs> <laughs> so should we... Speak in monotone, and monotone furthermore, voices, so we can keep. more no, 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 that's fine. Oh, I've been, I've, I've definitely got the bedroom voice going on. Yeah, hey, jeez, if you guys would like to go to sleep, please. Yeah, Dave Hemma, everybody. He, he had a real tough match against Mr. Shuff from Virginia. Mr. Shuff, he got away from me. Man, you know you're. He got away from you guys me. had safety battles, and he ended up on top. You yeah, know? I, I missed a couple of balls in there, but you know what. Hats off to him. He he raised his game up to when he was supposed to. He, um, you know, I I like that about people. You know, when they when they're down, he was playing horrible out the gate. Out of the gate, he was yeah. thinking too much. And then what did he do? He he took a he took a change of pace, changed his attitude. Yeah. Came out and he started playing better. And uh, hats off to him. You know, that's that's the way the game's played. Yeah. Well, you you're always such a good sport, Dave. You know. Well, I mean, you Almost know. Almost to a fault. Bye, Marie. See you at 10. Marie. No, you'll see me at 9.30. Oh, wait. When's our first streamed match? 10, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. First streamed match tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That would be uh, something like. What? Five? 11 at oh. night in uh, Manila. <laughs> Oh, but you know what? The, all the Filipino players, they play at 11. That's true. <laughs> they all won. That's true. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say all. You know what? There's so many great players anymore. Oh, my gosh. It's just, there's so Isn't many monsters, awesome? man. You know, it's awesome. And, Scary and, monsters. I love it. Oh, we got Mike Berry on the hill. Oh, that's his name. I forgot his name, man. Yeah, we haven't seen Mike in months. But that's the thing. Is like I, it's totally out of context for yeah. me to see him almost because yeah. I haven't seen him in so long. Yeah, Mike, <laughs> either. Steve decided to come back for more. Steve, you know, he's a glutton. He's a glutton. Yeah. Punishment. So are we even watching pool anymore? Are we just going to talk <laughs> this stuff? Oh man, I've been watching this, but I, I gotta tell you, man, Jer- Jerry Lynn is a is a is a incredible player. Uh, he's vicious, man. You cannot. He keeps you cringing in your chair while he's playing. It's hor- It's like because he's he he takes his time. He's so methodical and so deliberate. It's painful to watch him beat you this way, you know, because you don't get to do anything. I, I can't play Jerry. In fact, <laughs> if I get called to a match to play Jerry Lynn, I'm just four. I'm just gonna go to In and Out Burger. 
next time. <laughs> I like the guy. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying he's like tough to sit and play with. It's it's four two right now. Zeke's got a couple he, games. Though. He's got he's got Zeke, but he's got Zeke like really on edge. He's got him out of sorts. Hmm? He's got him a little out of sorts. Well, when it comes to pool, there's a, there's paces. There there's a lot of paces. Um, some people suit are suited for it. But you know, honestly, that's what makes a great a, a great player. They have to adapt. They have to learn how to play fast. They have to learn how to play slow. Yeah. They yeah. got to be able to manage. Uh, you know that. By the way, that was a. One yep. great kick by Jerry right there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That was an it excellent was. kick. And this this could even close it, you know. Uh, no, it's no. not. It's four to two. That's right. Uh, he's got to play. He's got a nice little out here. He's uh, going to come up mm -hmm. towards the eight ball with the cue ball here. Well, it's like when people when people talk about the playing conditions, like the table conditions and the the, you know the pockets and stuff like that you know the mm -hmm. rails and the cloth and the, sure. the ball skidding or the balls being and the room being sticky you know what the, the guy you're playing is playing on the same table yes <laughs> you know oh absolutely but you know it, it's the adapting people that adapting are able to it, it was to drive home your point about what you were saying about good players a good player will be able to make that Adjustment, you know, a good player. Well, that's part of being a good player. Right. They're able to um, manage mentally yeah. and still play somewhat close to their game. Yeah. What happens a lot of times is people, they buckle and they just, what they call buckle is being like 20% of their game rather than like 70 or 80% of their game. Right. That's a big difference, you know. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand that when you buckle, you lose a lot. I yeah. Mean, so it's different, it, but it's tough out here. I'm telling you, the tables are sticky, and when the tables are sticky, they pick up a lot of dirt. The balls start sticking. Mm -hmm. You get a few, um, you know, bricks. You, you, the balls just turn on you. Like a skid or yeah. something. Yeah. So I mean, I'm it's telling discouraging. you, it gets tough out here, and people don't realize how um, hot and mm -hmm. you get 192 players in a small atmosphere and. It was tough for a, a long while there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I'm awake. <laughs> it's just Your voice is just sounds so relaxing to me. <laughs> so soothing. Don't stop talking, Dave. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll just keep you. Okay. Lullaby. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a lullaby. <laughs> See, that was one of those in-betweener shots wow. there. So you got to shoot either soft or hard, yeah. and he chose yeah. to shoot it hard. Because right. when you roll a ball, that's the whole thing about a sticky table. If you roll it, you take the chance of that of ball. Of kid, yeah. Yeah, and so he said, uh, I'm not going to take that chance. Yeah. And then he probably wasn't comfortable with yeah, the he shot. He went for the two rail, yeah, because actually he his usual style of play is the other way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's what that's what the difference of uh, the elements of, uh, of, of the tough table and the tough conditions. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Now, that's a hard spot. That's a hard spot to find right there. And... That's really Shiza. He just said, "Wow." Yeah, well, that's a that's a that's a tough spot to find. Mm. Yeah. Oh boy. What are you doing up so late, sir? Well, oh, you're uh, the tournament director. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm these are real you, matches right? in the Swanee. Yeah, and I also got to play at 10 in the morning, so I'm oh, all right. Who are you playing? I play Brock. 
Uh, Jaden. Oh, okay, Jaden. 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 Mm-hmm. He's been woofing at me online. I'd, I'd be curious to find. You know out what? He's he's playing better, and he's supposed to. You supposed. You know, when people play better, they're supposed to. You know, explore that area. You yeah, know, like uh, kind of call people out that they're kind of. Yeah. Out. Well, just like what I did. Yeah. Go have some. You know. I mean, we only live once, man. I mean, come on. Exactly. You know. Really, you can't. You just can't take somebody on. I mean, you, you want you want to live another life, and and then maybe take them. Then it's just such a long once, though. Oh, stop already! <laughs> it really drags out. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I'm if, talking about those, this is my twelfth life. <laughs> yeah, man. Are those um? Are those um? Barry's friends or relatives over there? Um, you know, um, uh, Mike, Mike has his, uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Barry, is it? No, it's Mike. Mike Barry. That's right. Duh. And Mike, and Mike, he plays a very, um, very basic, but yet very solid. He has a very nice hit on the cue ball. I've played him. Mm-hmm. But he, he does these kind of things that just give me nerve wracking because that is a tough freaking shot. I don't like that shot at all, but you know. This guy, he's labeled, he's just, he plays like that, you know? Mm. I don't like that shot, but it goes in the corner, and uh, yeah, hello. Yeah, the, the, the dreaded two-way, the Berry deciding leads. game. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that table, uh, that we table. Just, we, we, you guys didn't get to see that, but. Uh, By the way, I played on that table, and that table did the same thing for me. So, yeah. I don't know. I think that table just kind of leaking, you know? Yeah. That's I think cool. the balls are just falling in. That's why right I love that table so much. <laughs> table six, baby. Table come to six, Hard Times. Baby. Anytime you guys want to have balls leaking in the pockets, you Woo. come to table six. Woo! At Hard Times. Only when I shoot, though. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike Barry. Well, yeah, you, you got to miss, and then they go in the other corners. That's yeah. Yeah, you have to potentially miss. And put a lot of spin. <laughs> a lot, a of, lot spin. of spin. So that it just you'd get that extra rail of distance. I, I gotta give up some money. Oh, I really yeah, don't do like it. to give money. Do it. That's okay. No, tell them I work for tips. That's all right. <laughs> oh my god. I'm still here. Uh, this is it, folks. This is the last match of the night. I am going to hit some balls, but it's not going to be that interesting. Uh, and I'm going to go to sleep in about, uh, about shortly, probably half an hour after that uh, occurs. Two does go. And the nine was an insurance ball. And that was good. enough. Jerry's going to be at the table again with a chance to close out the set. Score is currently 5-1. to 
contrary to what you might think, the pressure is really at this point on Jerry to close out the set. <laughs> Lashay, Lashay, you are a truly funny comedian. <laughs> Jerry Lynn's certified diploma from his Marquis de Sade University of Poole. That's very funny. Yowza. Yowza, Doogie Howza. Wasn't, uh, oh no. Doogie Howza was not a young dentist. He was a young young doctor look at this four and five that's like a drill yeah two straight now that's why that's a drill because the way you play that drill is to always end up in the middle of the table <coughs> and uh, he just took that shot A little too quickly, in my opinion. But uh, we all do that. It's late. We want to go home. We want to close it out. But this is actually what I mean by the pressure being on Jerry. Contrary to popular belief. <laughs> I will say again. Jerry stuns it out uh, just enough to be able to roll the six ball in. Other than that, I'm not really sure what much else he can do with the cue ball. Looks like he's drawing out. He's got to be careful. There might be a scratch in the side. Makes that shot extra hard. Careful. Understand is how I'm supposed to, how I'm expected to get up at. Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to discuss this. <clears throat> Dude, you need to slow your roll, bro. <laughs> this is just crazy. Slow your roll. <laughs> the, the, the game is the teacher. was a kapow huh? just before he breaks should I ask him what music he's listening to <laughs> wait is it me or does he have some weird way of racking those balls did you just notice that He racks them upside down-ish. He's having a he's having a wrestling match with his earbuds. 
He's got a strong break, though. I like that. Mora and Beato, it went hill, hill, and Beato won it. Whoa. Okay. Okay, Jerry's like, all right, man, it's late. I need to, I need to do this. In honor of Jerry Lynn, I'm going to commentate the rest of this match, the rest of this rack in complete silence.
Jerry just put the dental dam on him. See the finish line. Wired his mouth shut or something. I don't know what to say. I can't make any. I can't make any more dental jokes. I've made enough already. <laughs> well, that was. I think we got to the root of the problem there. I don't know what the hell to say. All right, listen. Uh, see you back in about four hours. See, I'll see you in four hours, guys. Guys, take a quick power nap and don't be late for work. <laughs> we'll see you at 9 a.m. Love you. Mean it. <laughs>